I'm Mystic Rose and I'm going to be bringing to you uh, a bunch of videos, they're called Pick a Card and it's all about tarot and there will be um, three piles and you'll pick whatever pile resonates with you, there will be different objects with each, within each um, pile and whichever one you're drawn to is the one that contains messages for you. So that's how pick a card works. And again, I'm Mystic Rose. Um, I've been reading tarot for about 10 years. It's my passion and I love it. And what's really neat about my pick a card readings is that I'm going to be using some charms and some runes as well. So, um, I'm also going to be using three different uh, tarot decks, so I'm really excited and um, I'll be putting in the comments below, in the link below, um, I'll be putting which decks I used and if you like this channel, please subscribe and uh, like this video and share. Um, go ahead and leave a comment below if you'd like to, and I would love to read the comments and see if any of these readings resonated with you. Alright, enjoy. Okay, these are the three different piles. The first one here, this is pile number one. You've got the egg-shaped crystal quartz. For pile number two, we've got the rose quartz. For pile number three, we've got this clear crystal quartz. I've lit a candle today so that the intention is that we will connect with our guides and angels and our higher power, the creator whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm setting the intention that you will meditate on which pile you are drawn to and that your guides will help you to determine the pile that is meant for you. At this time I'd like to mention that if you are drawn to more than one pile you may feel free to go ahead and watch more than just one video. You can scroll to the timestamp and you can click on the timestamp to watch whichever video you choose. Let us begin. Okay, pile number one. This message is for you. The first card it shows is heavy. It shows the scales here. And this just tells me that in the recent past you've been through something that wasn't easy. Um, it's something that sort of weighed you down, but know that it's over now and it is in the past. Currently, you're getting more in touch with how you feel about things with the Queen of Cups. She's all about her emotions. And with the angels here, this really speaks to me and tells me that you've been having angelic guidance past loved ones around you that are keeping extra careful watch over you and guiding you where you need to be. You've got a wish come true coming up for you. So this star card talks about you being in alignment with who you're meant to be. And this is all about balance. So you've been able to be feeling more balanced recently, which is wonderful. Um, and it's also fair because 
sometimes, you know, we, when things get too heavy, it feels a little bit too imbalanced. But now things are starting to feel more fair. Um, it's kind of like, whew, you know, the worst is over. Now you've got this beautiful offer coming in from the universe, which is either a new romantic partner, or if you're already in a romantic relationship, this could be a new job offer, or a new offer for creative uh, projects. Um, this could just be a gift coming into you, a gift of love, a gift of uh, friendship so this is whatever this is this is a blessing coming in for you so I'm just hearing this too that if you've been waiting for a job offer it's coming to you with this so some of you have been waiting for a job offer know that it is on its way and whether this is a relationship or a job it's going to make you feel like, so if it's a relationship, you're going to feel like it's a soulmate connection with this card here. Um, this is the Six of Cups. It's all about old friendships and like, um, like soulmate connections or somebody who brings out the child in you. Um, they could make you feel a little bit silly at times but you always have a good time together so whoever this is that is coming in is going to make you feel younger it's going to make you feel more like yourself and just happier because all of the cups are filled with flowers and this young gentleman is giving this little girl a cup with flowers in it and it's just a symbol of his love and the fact that they are children means that they are at least young at heart. So this is what is coming in for you. If this is a job, it's going to be a job that makes you feel rejuvenated, makes you feel like you're on the right path, and that you're doing something that you're meant to be. This card, being direct, I'm just going to read it to you. I will own my own power and be direct. I will be clear and honest in my dealings with other people. If I'm comfortable with my own truth, then those around me will be comfortable with me too. So this to me is talking about you, just um, spirit wants you to know that you need to speak your truth, okay? Because in the past, maybe it's something that you've been working on maybe you haven't been doing it in the past but be more aware of the fact that you need to start speaking your truth and speaking what's in your heart and now i'm going to draw some charms first charm that I got was this little girl and this goes along with this this to me talks about getting in touch with your inner child um, or it also is a confirmation that when you take that new job or when you find that when you find that um, person that new person in your life um, they're gonna make you feel young again um, or just youthful in general so that is the first one and then we've got this one it came out on its side this is a football player and it if it would have came out upright I would say that's a good thing but like it didn't come out upside down so that's even better but it came out on its side which just tells me that you need to be a little bit more playful in life you're taking things right now a little too seriously and that's probably because you just got out of something very heavy but try to be more playful okay um, you're feeling a little bit incomplete with this fl um, flower here that's missing its petal. You're feeling a little bit incomplete right now. Hold on because good things are coming. Um, you, with this penguin here, you maybe have felt left out in the cold. Um, 
do not worry about that going forward. That is all going to change very soon. Yes, you were sort of left out in the cold. Um, just I'm just hearing like you may have been surrounded by people who just were not that understanding. All right, and now I'm going to get these runes. I'm going to draw a rune for you. one for you and I'm going to look it up and see what it means. I like to get the um, the proper uh, meaning because I'm still learning about runes. So this is um, Rytho and it's it means progress, writing, the right order, or the right way to proceed, rationality, or growth. So that to me just goes along with your reading really nicely. Um, that is a confirmation that you are going to be growing as a person. You're gonna be experiencing new, newness, I guess I wanna say, newness, um, and rejuvenation that you haven't felt in a long time. So, pile number one, I hope that you've enjoyed that reading, and um, I'm just going to end this by saying um, namaste, and please come back for another pick a card in the future. Leave a comment down below if this resonated with you. Thank you. Welcome pile number two. If you chose the pink quartz, this is the pile meant for you. We're going to start out with this. It says freak. Um, it's an interesting looking card if you take a look at it. It just kind of speaks to me about that you might be feeling a little bit um, different. Um, maybe you just uh, don't feel like you quite fit in, but that's okay. You, somebody might have actually made you feel that way. Let's take a look at the rest of the cards and see what is here for you. Letting go of being right. Today I will realize that being myself and letting others be themselves is far more important than being right. Value and worth are not dependent on being right, and I'm striving for love in my relationships, not superiority. I won't hide behind being right, but will just let myself be who I am. So this talks about being yourself. This is talking about be freak, be different, be who you are, claim it. Um, you are awesome. You don't have to be right, but you have to be yourself. And these cards down here are the Rider Waite cards. And this one here tells me um, that you've had to be strong lately because there were things um, that you didn't want to face and this could have been in a relationship or in the workplace or at home but there were some things that you just didn't want to face because this girl is blindfolded and there's all these swords back here and she's tied up um she could th these are tied loosely she could untie herself and take that blindfold off at any time if she so chose to and she could face these, but these are so painful that she doesn't want to see so that's talking about like blindness in a way like you're choosing not to look at something um, because it hurt too much you feel like somebody in the past betrayed you um, and this card is all about like 
there was a fight and you won the fight you might have come out feeling though like maybe it wasn't worth it to fight yeah you kind of proved your point and you uh, maybe stood your ground but you didn't feel good after the fight and you wish that the fight wouldn't have happened that could also be um, conflict at the workplace with somebody and you don't feel good about con this conflict so it's either in the workplace or in a relationship or friendship but whatever it is you definitely don't feel great about it right now and in fact it's given you some anxiety and been keeping you up at night but um, if you learn to balance some positivity in here then this is gonna be a thing of the past because this is the nine of swords and it's coming to an end so all of that stress that you had is coming to an end and I do think for some of you this was all about somebody making you feel like you didn't fit in and it, and you might have um, left a workplace recently because you don't feel like you're a good fit there um, you might feel like an oddball or that you can't you're not performing um, the way that you should you just don't feel like your optimal best self there there's stressful things about the job that you don't want to look at um, and you'd probably rather just leave or something except if you did you might feel guilty about it so that's the, the feeling of just you know could be feeling guilty about leaving a job um, put it all behind you though and this card is talking all about temperance and that need for balance and that need for um, a need for change really um, with the angel there it's just it gives you hope that you're not doing this alone um, there are greener pastures up ahead for you so I'm just gonna pull one more card about more information about this all right, so this talks about um, money um, and part of the guilt is that you want to save up money for something and you don't want to jeopardize your income for some of you. You don't want to jeopardize your income right now. Um, so for those of you who have recently had work conflict, um, Try to do what you can to just get through it um, with, and kind of bite your tongue, I'm hearing. Um, don't cause any waves and just do what you need to do and leave a negative situation. If this is a relationship, do what you need to say. Um, you don't need to fight or anything like that. I'm hearing just bow out, just leave this negative situation whether that's a relationship or a workplace okay because ultimately you've got to feel um, like you belong this could be a partner that's trying to make you feel like you're not worthy or something like that and you've just got to be yourself you know and you've got to let others be themselves that's fair. You've got to find your your value and your worth. So just be who you are. Love yourself. Focus on loving yourself. And then I'm, right now I'm going to do some charms. Okay, so this is about new growth happening for you with um, this flower here they actually got two of them that are the same which is pretty cool um, just like pile number one they got the same one and I think there's only one out of all of these charms in here there's like only one of these and pile number one got the same one 
It's about the inner child and it's about going within and finding your joy inside. And then there is hope. There is hope, so don't lose hope. Some of you might have lost hope over this situation that wasn't very positive. Um, put it in the past. I know it's not over yet, but it's almost over. And, and it will be over soon. And concentrate on all of the good things that you want to manifest. I'm going to pull a rune for you. So this rune looks like an X. I'm going to look it up in my book. Okay, so this is now these. Now these. Um, it means constraint, resistance, need, caution, delays, conflict, and the will to overcome. So this talks about conflict, you know, and I had been talking about that, so that just confirms it. But it, but the will to overcome it. So you need to be able to overcome this stress, and you will be able to. Um, constraint and resistance, so that's fighting something. And caution and delays, so yes, you want things to be a certain way right now. You've got to have some patience. Good things are coming. So please don't lose hope. Thank you so much for uh, pile number two. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. Stay positive. Things are going to start turning around for you. Um, and namaste. And blessings to you. And come back again. Uh, leave a comment if this resonated with you. Thank you. Hi, pile number three. Um, if you chose the clear crystal quartz, your mission is not yet complete. You've got to trust in God, pile number three. Okay, call it your creator, call it the higher power, whatever you want to call it. You've got to trust in God because um, your work is not yet done. All right, we're going to draw more cards to see what exactly that means. But I'm going to read this to you. It says, know that all my wants will be met. I will give my needs to the universe and trust that God will take care of the desires of my heart. I will have faith that I truly deserve to have my wants and needs met. So pile number three, there's something that you really, 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 really want. And um, do not give up faith. Trust in God. Trust in the higher power that it will be delivered to you. Okay. I'm going to draw some, some more cards from the Rider Waite deck. Uh, I love the Rider Waite deck. It's my favorite. I'm actually working on um, creating my own deck, which I'll be integrating into these readings pretty soon. I'm excited about that. Um, pile number three, you've got to find your value because you have not been valuing yourself very much. Um, you've just been going through the motions and you've been thinking about what you want to do and you're actually thinking about um, taking a leap of faith because this card talks about after you find your value you're going to be going places okay but you've got to find your value first because right now you don't know how awesome you are okay but you are, and you are in the planning phases, phase of um, making a change in the workplace, or you may even be thinking about leaving a relationship. But whatever you're um, setting off to do, it's because you need to, you wanna find your best path. That's what this is all about. You wanna find your best path. You've been working really, really hard on yourself, and um, I'm hearing like some of you have been trying to improve 
yourself by maybe reading self-help books or watching inspirational videos but like you guys have been working on yourself a lot and this has been a real blessing for you and you've got okay so for those of you who are looking for a new relationship you've got two different love offers coming in and you may have to make a choice between two different love offers um now if this is a job reading you're going to have two different offers and you're going to have to choose between whatever job is right for you and you're going to have to trust in god that you make the right choice okay so find your value your mission is not yet complete um just means that you know still continue to work on yourself yes you've been working on yourself i'm hearing but you're not done okay this is a continuation that you're you're going to have to continue to do um this is a um, um somebody this is an usually an older male that is a boss he's not always the nicest person in the world um why did i draw this card well this kind of what i'm feeling is that um you've been working with uh, an older male in the past who has been um uh somewhat supportive but mostly um a little bit agitated at work and he's been kind of driving you to want to look for a different job so if this is a workplace reading for you then this boss is part of the reason that is sparking you to want to look for a new job and with this knight of pentacles coming in it means that you're going to be making more money than what you are, are making currently so if this is about you and you're just looking for a new job this is a great really great sign that you're going to get two options to choose from um, and that you just need to trust in God that you'll choose the right one for you and this person please just don't put too much um, thought into this person because he's kind of more on the negative side and he did not help with um, your self-esteem but made you feel less than and so it led you to want to look for something else um, but if this is a love relation love relationship rating then you're gonna have to choose between um, two people and they're both going to be probably water sign individuals so one's going to be kind of young and the other one's going to be even younger um, younger than you probably um, and they're going to be uh, either a Scorpio Pisces or Cancer Sun Moon or Ascendant so they will be somebody who's very in touch with their emotions um, very intuitive um, very romantic um, they will both come in and and woo you and make you feel um, just like swept away okay so that is that and uh, I want to do some charm readings pile number three Okay, pile number three you're going to be doing some traveling soon it's just going to be it might be traveling for your new job a little bit um it, i'm hearing like half an hour uh, or less so for some of you that are getting a new job it'll be like a, I, i'm hearing specifically a half an hour or less um whereas in the past i think it was closer to maybe 40 or 45 minute drive time for you this could be closer to your home um, 
And if it's a love relationship, it may be somebody that you have to um, go to their house. It may be like um, a little bit of a distance away, not like too far away, but not a next door neighbor either. Love, love is coming to you, it's on the way. Love yourself, love others. Please try to focus on being as loving as you can. Um, we've got, I am clever and I am beautiful. So love yourself, know that you are smart and you are beautiful. I don't think you value yourself enough sometimes. Um, and this one, it says, I love quilting. And for me, this talks about like a patchwork quilt and how all of the pieces fit together in such a beautiful and unique design. And the underneath part of a quilt often looks ugly and we can't see the beauty of it. But from God's perspective up above, he sees how beautiful and intricate it all looks as a design from the top. And that's how our lives are. And so trust in God because he knows what he's doing and he will lead you and your guides and angels will lead you just like you were led here today to this video. I'm going to pull a rune for you today as well. For you today was Tiwaz. Tiwaz is all about balance and being rational. So that talks about just being in balance, being in harmony. Um, don't get too uh, caught up in drama. Um, try to remember your spirituality, stay balanced, stay close to um, God and uh, or whatever you like to call God, um, higher power or creator or whatever, but know that there is something out there that is taking care of you. And I'm gonna leave you with that today, pile number three. If you uh, appreciated that and it resonated with you, leave a comment down below, please. Um, I do read those, so. Um, I would appreciate that and I um, hope you have a great rest of your day and namaste and I will see you later.